and welcome back to the part two of my point of sale system now let's start to work with the coding so i'm going to exit out and um, first of all let's do the following what i'm going to do is i'm going to let's say option explicit that is for the variables that i intend to declare now the very first variable that I will declare is going to be I will just call that item item cost and then I have some another variable I'm gonna have I tax well, let's say change all of those variables will be declared as double Okay, we need a comma here. Now, the next set of variable is going to be for my barcode. I'm going to call it one T code. That's a T code. Comma. And the other one is going to be known as barcode. Yeah, that's a barcode. Yeah, that's it. Done. Okay, I'm now going to create some function. This function will be used to add up whatever cost of product I have on the list box. So now let's start by saying, let's create a function up here. Function, and I'll call that cost. Function cost, enter parentheses there. And as you can see, once you create a function, you end up with end function automatically. So I'm going to first of all say sum equals zero. If you don't say sum equals zero, the sum will keep adding on. So I want to try and avoid that. That's me talking from or speaking from experience. And I'm going, I'm going to say for i. Remember the i that I declared right up here. Maybe we should make it lowercase. <laughs> Yeah, let's change it to a lowercase i. That's fine. Lowercase and lowercase here. For i equals 0 to L. That is my list box. Display dot list. So that should actually be dot yeah as a list count there we go minus one I'm going to say step one okay then now sum equals sum plus by value and what am I talking about? So it's going to be list display dot whatever I have on the list, then enter I there and close that bracket. Now I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to round up I. Okay, so that is that taken care of. Now, right underneath here. I have tax as well. I'm going to make the tax rate about maybe 2.5. Come right down here. Tax is going to be 2.5. 2 that is my tax rate. There. Now, and there, I might as well add all my data in there. LBL cost dot caption. Okay, let's see, I should have something that says that equals. Let's convert that to pound sign. Equals whatever I have inside. And let's say sum, comma, and let's convert that to pound sign. Enter hash, comma, hash, hash, 
zero dot zero zero that will give me two decimal place there now let's see I think I should have this let's check that here that should be this no oh I call it subtotal okay let's grab all the names then this is called subtotal copy that come back in here go back inside my code there we go else I would have end up with an error the next one is going to be for my tax so let's just copy all of this and change that around for the tax and one for total as well get rid of this for total and this is going to be for tax there okay let's now work out the tax that we end up paying so it's going to be sum multiplied by tax and we divide that by 100 okay there divide that by 100 I'm going to need another bracket here there we go how many do I have here one two and three and there I think that's the tax taken care of there we go guys now I want to then add my tax to this right here and I will then add a sum I might as well just copy everything that I have in here copy and paste that right underneath here there so this is the tax we then need to add add a sum close that and close it right here as well so what's happening is whatever we have in the tax is then added up to the total which is the subtotal there and that's all the risk to that so that's taken care of so let's check and make sure these codes are right for the calculations okay now one more thing my barcodes so I'm going to say I think I call that T code that is equals I want you to get it formatted though format that is for the total so I'm going to grab all of these and get rid of the pound sign T code that's total code get rid of the pound sign oh no I need a format format copy that paste that here there get rid of the pound sign all right that is taken care of yeah now I will also need LDL total code total C code dot caption equals C code there so this will give us the barcode for the total yeah, that's fine now that's taken care of if I don't do it this way I would end up having to write the same lines of codes on every single button okay let's do let's put another function together for my for the price and to display some item and the barcode of that very item so i'm going to call that right underneath here i will call it function c price there we go there now we need almost the same thing here then we we'll copy all of this And paste that in here and right underneath here comes the changes I think the change this is to work on the chain yeah that's fine change is equals to LBL cash dot caption And we subtract that from we subtract that from 
total sum of this very one here without I'm just going to grab all of these up to here copy and subtract so with that I should be able to get the change so if your customer give you 20 pounds for the purchase of 15 pounds 40 you should get the change right here all right so what else do we need to do we now need to assign this into lbl change lbl change dot caption equals change that's one down now the next one let's enter the barcode for the product itself so i'm going to say barcode equals let's format we're going to format whatever we have inside the change itself equals change comma and let's just grab all of this let's grab all of this and paste it in here right and get rid of the pound sign there that will be for the backup for the change yes that is correct okay now backcode here is going to be lbl code equals backcode so let's grab all of this so lbl change code the code i represent it with co equals backcode there okay those are the two functions i intend to use one and two there okay this deals mostly with the code with the change okay if you are given if the customer is using cash then you do need this and this let's deal with the calculation of the item selected all right so that's fine now let's go straight to the buttons and start calling those function double click on the very first one here and right in here i'm going to enter the following let's say item cost equals zero and item cost equals item cost plus whatever the price that i intend to okay let's just say item cost increment by three pounds eighty now let's say lb l s t display dot add item and the item that I'm adding is going to be item cost there. So that add the price in there. So now, what else do we need to do? We need to display the item itself. So let's say L S T item dot add. And what are we adding? what is this product that I have in there I don't know so I'm just going to first of all let's make up something for it first I'm going to call it maybe cappuccino no it's not a cappuccino though I think it's a cake I'm going to call it bread cake bread cake yeah close that all right then we also need to what about this scanner lbl scan dot caption don't I have a scan let's see I should have a scan one called scan come down here and see it's total item code okay this is going to be for the product it's uh, I call it LBL item ok 
Okay, let's come in here and it's now this corner from this right here. Yep, paste that there. Dot caption. And that is going to be equals to let's say break. Let's copy. copy all of those and dump it right here. Now let's call the function itself call cost. The cost is the function that I declare right over there. I call cost do that one. All right, so have a good look at that. So I'm just going to run this. If it works as expected, all I then need to do is copy and paste. Run. So click, there we go, look at that. And look at my barcode. And it's actually adding up the, the subtotal, tax, and total. That is nice. Okay, that's good see how easy that is and one other thing we need to increase this font so exit out and just first of all let me increase this font I'm going to make the font size about let's go for maybe something maybe 14 yeah 14 why not 14 bold there we go so that should take care of that okay then now let's double click on this the next button here all I then need to do is copy paste and change the price to $3.99 and that will be maybe cappuccino yeah, yeah cappuccino and this is cappuccino as well there now copy to the next one the next one is something to do with cream paste that in there I'll just enter cream in there and cream here as well and how much would that be so I'm just gonna make that about Maybe two pounds something. Two ninety-five. Two nine five. Okay. Next is going to be that's cake. Paste. Let's change that to cake. There. And make that maybe one pound fifty. 155. There we go. Next. Drinks. Now. Paste. And these are just canned drinks. Or fizzy drinks, whatever you want to call it. There we go. And here is 0 0.78. And that is it. Drinks here. Drinks. Can drinks. Yeah. Okay. Copy. Next one. That's going to be tea. Paste that in there. We call that iced tea or whatever. Ice tea. And how much was it? 99p. 90p, I mean. There we go, and this is iced tea. Right, next that is cream cake. Cream, no, cream cake is how much? Two pound plus. It's about 2.5. Now we have in here cream cake as well. Paste. Almost there now. 
Now the next one is this. What is that? So I'm gonna call that maybe chocolate drink or whatever. Copy that, paste that in here. All right, so we just call that one pound ninety eight. Next, okay. I reckon you guys get the whole idea now. So, I'm just gonna speed up the others, and that's it. We only have about three more left. Okay, that is it. All done. Now, let's take care of the lines of code for the buttons. The buttons are not calculator, they just uh, for you to be able to enter cost in there. Should in case if your customer give you cash and you want to give them change back. But first and first, let's take care of this. You see this this combo box. I'm gonna double click on the form and in there I'm gonna select form initialize. Where is the form again? Let's do that again. Double click on form. Oh, that's it right here. We need form initialize. There we go. And right there, I'm going to enter that dot add item. And the very first item that is going to be cash. If you are paid cash. And I'm just going to copy it and change that in case if you have something like direct debit. So place that direct debit and Visa card, MasterCard. So in here, let's enter direct debit. And we change this to Visa card. And finally, this will be MasterCard all done so if i run it now this is what you guys will see so i can enter whatever item i want and look at it as i click is automatically added and in here i can select method of payment okay or type of payment all right that is fine let's take care of this ones if i have change or well, I don't have any of those and I only have cash I want to be able to click on any of these buttons and enter whatever amount I have in there so let's come back in here double click on that very button number seven double click on no oh let's see what's the name of this it's called cash LBL cash let's enter a value in there make that zero and is it aligned let's see no let's align it to the right align to the right there we go now double click on this this is cash to yeah, grab that very name so I don't forget now double click on number seven so right there number seven I'm gonna use an if statement if cash dot caption equals zero then do as follows grab all of this paste it there cap the caption equals seven else equals this all right so that means if you keep clicking and you should keep adding seven so and if there so that takes care of the of the nothing so I'm just going to copy that. Come right down here. Double click on it. And right here, I'm just going to paste that for it. Change the value to it. Now, let's go for 9. There, that becomes 9. Numbers number four, that is four, five, 
6 double click on 6 enter 6 there and I'm going to speed that up now double click on 1 paste and just change that to 1 there speed that up and that's it I've taken care of 3 as well so all done for the buttons apart from the 0 I purposely leave that out so that you guys see that it's going to be zero here and zero here as well. There. Okay. Now let's run it and make sure that works. We enter. Yeah, that's fine. Now the decimal point, we need to take care of that. So that is fine. Okay. Exit out. And for the decimal, double click on the decimal. And what I'm going to do is if in string lvl cash dot caption and that is there's a comma contains dot that and we say is equals zero then no 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 then now we Let's grab this LBL cache equals LBL cache plus the decimal point and end if and that's all there is to that that is taken care of that is for that is for the dot or whatever you want to call it the decimal point okay now let's double click on the click declare now for the clear we're just going to paste that and enter the value we change to zero and there that's it if i run it now enter whatever i want to enter in there clear there we go now let's enter some values dot clear okay let's take care of payment and these three buttons then we can call it the end of the whole project now let's come into payment double click on payments so with the payment i'm going to let's say if cbo payments dot text if that is equals cash Then we want the following call the function price. There we go. So LBL total itself total dot back color. Just want to just that up a bit. Let's say equals RGB and give that one seven six comma two two four comma and two three zero so that we just highlight showing you that payment has been made so else if else if if it's empty let's grab all of this If it is empty, then we want the following. Then we want you to change to remain as the official color. Come right in here. The official color is light gray. That is 240 by 240 by 240. There we go. There. Okay. Else. We want the color to change to this okay grab this so if it's empty the color remain gray but if any of the method of payment is selected then it changes to sky blue and if there we go all right let, let's try it out run and there we go and you decide to go for cash 
and that means um, you have 15 pounds 10p okay calculate all right let's change this we need to change this to two decimal place okay that's fine it's working okay exit out okay let's take care of the excess figure numbers there double click on that i think that's to do with the yeah the function here is very function that i should have formatted that so let's go for right here and i'm just gonna enter format open up a bracket and that is going to be comma pound sign and i mean ash comma double ash 0, 0.00 close that there that should take care of the format this should be comma there all right that should take care of that very label so let's run it and see again all right so let's see let's keep going keep going there we go right now come down here cash and how much is that 30 and let's go for payment yeah that's fine that takes care of that so let's take care of one and two okay let's double click on this and right there I'm just going to enter application application dots dialog no dialog let's see x l print where is it x l print okay if i grab any dialog i just change that to print now grab this and just change this to print that's l dialog print close that dot show yeah, that is scale of the print so we'll run it add some value in there now direct debit pay that is it so there's no change because it's direct debit that is why this one is empty so let's print out our details there we go that's for the receipt now cancel I don't have print on my system okay now let's take care of reset and we can call it the end of this beautiful tutorial and right here double click on reset for the reset i'm going to do as follows i'm going to grab this paste it right up here dot text clear that equals clear there and lbl display we're gonna clear that as well grab this paste that there dot it clear that should be clear there now we have item lbl item paste dot clear there then we have okay let's grab this and so on guys equals clear and let's see what is can i remember here total clear the total as well copy come right down paste dot caption equals lbl tax the caption there lbl sub total there and what is lbl cash lbl change and lbl 
LBL total is that in there that to be total barcode and change as well I have one of those copy paste it right underneath here that will be for barcode as well and LBL total itself I need to change LBL total back color to the default color dot back color I'm gonna make that RGB 240 comma 240 comma 240 close that there I think I am done I think I am done guys oh wait a minute LBL cash yes that should be zero there we go now run and let's see how that's gonna work okay decision time cash and we have 25 pounds 55 cents there reset there we go guys look at that that is brilliant and guys with that i'm going to call it the end of this very very lovely tutorial i'm very happy with it and to my viewer out there who put in a request for this i believe i have accomplished your suggestion or meet up with what you suggested that is it guys so i'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial and merry christmas bye for now